again, our long neck friends out there in TV land. Welcome to another episode of Shock and Nod Toy Reviews. Two idiots, one camera, and a review. I'm one of your hosts, Wilson. I'm your other host, Berg. And we are reviewing in this episode, this big bastard. I'm pretty excited. What's his name? Fans Toys, number seven, Iron D-Bots, number four, Stomp. Dinobot Sludge, this is the box, blah, 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 boxes. So this is what he looks like. I love it. Uh, he's gigantic. I love the sculpt. It looks great. If you're familiar at all with the other fan toys, Dinobots, he's got all that detail and probably more. This mode doesn't have as much paint, it looks like, uh, but there are in here, there's all this tiny paint detailing on his back. All the stuff under this clear plastic is painted. It looks really good. I love how in his neck that you can see all the mechanical doohickeys and whatever. It just looks really, really good. Um, his head turns. I mean, this guy's this guy's pretty fantastic. Just I'm just gonna start off like that. Can can I get a towel? <laughs> and... He looks like Sludge. Yeah. He he feels heavier like a sludge should. Yeah. He uh is he's awesome. Yeah. If you like the G1 aesthetic, this is this is your toy. He's he's got good articulation yeah, too. He's got his mouth opens. Rawr, uh, his little double blast gun flamethrower mouthpiece goes. Crazy but ratcheted head. He's got a swivel neck up here. Uh, he can, he's got a joint there so he can do some weird... That looks funky, but yeah. yeah. But he can do, do it. it. Then he's got another joint here so you can get super crazy... I'm gonna look underneath myself, yeah. look. <clears throat> um, he can move his legs out. They got, you know, bicep swivel, knees. Uh, doesn't have ankle tilt, but he does have, he can move his feet back and forth, but... You can split his toes due to transformation. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Uh, back feet don't come out as much. They don't have a swivel, but they do have a double joint, and his toes do bend. Again, no ankle tilt on the bottom. His tail has two joints, so you can get some pretty decent side to side. It does not move up or down. Let's do a size comparison. For a size comparison, we said he's big. How big, you may ask? Well, here's an official masterpiece Ironhide next to him. Or better yet, here's here's two cool toys. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And here he is with two of his other Dinobot pals. Uh, Slag had to stay home tonight, unfortunately. Uh, this is obviously the actual masterpiece Grimlock. And this is Fan Toys' uh, Snarl, Sever. That looked go. pretty damn good. They look even better. <laughs> <laughs> and there he is in all his pointing glory. Sludge. Um, yes, everybody, he can point. Yeah. So yeah, he's, uh, again, gigantic, even for these masterpiece style guys. Well, he is a Dinobot. He is a Dinobot, and he is one of the biggest Dinobots. So he should be. Um, again, weighty as hell. Yes, so transforming him did not displace any of the weight. <laughs> As for the transformation, it's it, it's actually pretty simple. Kind of what you'd expect from fans' toys, especially in the leg area, although it can get a little kooky if you're not used to it the first time. Uh, but other than that, everything is really cool. The head tucks away real nice in the back here. That's pretty cleaned up real well. Especially for a Dinobot. Yes. I like the paint, the you know the major look of him. He's I, I even like the detailing on the inside here. Of mm -hmm. the uh, there's even some paint wings, there. yeah. There's paint and stuff. Again, you got this clear uh, plastic. Just like the G1 toy. Yeah, just like the G1 toy, just like you would have seen on Snarl. And everything looks, yeah. It's it's really it's very detailed. A lot of what you'd expect from uh, fans' toys. Super got the G1 aesthetic down, but has just enough of the detailing and stuff that you would expect from an awesome toy like this especially a third party masterpiece just makes Tatara stuff looks like poo sometimes yeah. he's got some up and down a little bit side to side uh, due to transformation you can get crazy shoulder joint up there otherwise this pops out a little bit goes 360 Bicep, 
single pivot elbow, swivel wrist, thumbs are articulated at all the joint at the joints. Fingers are articulated at each knuckle, so you can point each finger as you want. Ratchety weight. He can kick forward, he can kick back. It is ratchet, but his legs are so heavy yeah. that he can barely hold out. Uh, he can kick out. Those aren't ratcheted for some reason, but... They still hold fairly well, considering... Yeah. By a swivel, you can get about 75, 80 degree knee bend. The front toes have some swivel, so you can get a little deeper stance. Again, that's kind of standard for the articulation of all the guys. Pretty much what you need him to do, he yeah. can do. Uh, I will point out, and what I love, is part of his transformation on the back here is if you have their their slag, you, you may know that when you would lift him, these hip pieces right here would fall down. So instead what they've done is they've put two little button mechanisms in here so that when you press them in, that's when you can pull them down for the transformation like that. And then pushing them back up just snaps the bits right out. So that's that was really cool to see. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a really great idea. Uh, glad that they realized that that was a problem with that guy and fixed it on him. I, I, I don't just wait till they ship you a slag. Yeah. <laughs> Ass <laughs> cheeks to fix. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Swoop and some ass cheeks. Just if that ends up breaking though, I don't know how I would fix that. That's too technical for me, but let's hope it doesn't. So as for accessories, he's got a fair amount, uh, most of them optional. He of course has his sword. Which lights up. Which lights up and I believe he passes the sword masterpiece test. Yeah, he holds yeah. the sword like a champ. His gun on the other hand, his bitching gun is looks like this first of all yeah let's talk about the gun it's the best looking gun out of all of them that i've seen it's, it's actually got detailed metal and everything yeah it it, it is one of the best looking guns yeah. i've seen on a transformer period not yeah. just a dinobot or really? fans toys like it, it, yeah, that, it looks really really sharp it also lights up but and we won't know we don't know at the point at this moment whether it flashes or stays steady yeah. so it'll a be Wilson, a surprise to us too. a wilson pet peeve may come in the <laughs> I may have to end up adjusting yeah. my score. Everything will have an asterisk after it from now on. <laughs> As you can see, he's... Is, is he supposed to drop it? Is that <laughs> Well, I'm doing the Masterpiece Sideswipe uh, test. Yeah. And, and it, it's, it's fairly in there. It's in there pretty good, but it's not like in his actual palm. It's just held tight because his fingers wrap around it. But, so what? It works. I'm not complaining. And you also get, of course, the option. He comes actually standard with blue eyes. So you get blue eyes for Dinobot mode and blue eyes for the robot mode. I've already switched them out for the red eyes. Because uh, he's a Decepticon. Sure. And then he also comes with two optional faces, or actually three, sorry, three optional faces. One that I put on, it's him screaming uh, angrily. It's his O face. Yeah, it looks great. And then there's two other faces that look almost identical. Yeah. One's got more lips than the other. Actually, now that I look at it, yeah, one's just kind of frowning, the other's sort of eh. So, there's that He's for you. He's got some semi-duck lips. Yeah, it's weird. And then there's this awesome little thing. This is the Raul of the set. He put this on his dino head. This is from the Transformers animated movie where Devastator punches him in the back and his eyes go all cartoon. I stepped on him. He punches him. Huh. Awesome. It looks great. This is a thousand times better than Raul. Now that you bring him up. <laughs> and for those of you that were really upset that Snarl, their fans toy Snarl, had that big giant gap in his chest on the bottom you, in the um, robot that you don't see or yeah. dinobot yeah that you don't see well they give you new pieces for them that'll cover that up you do have to switch it out it looks like there'll be some screws and stuff i don't care about that he comes with a screwdriver as well perfect it's it's great i like when they actually give you the tools to help you do the thing so again fairly standard some cool stuff so here he is next to the three Dinobots. This is Fan Toys Snarl. 
and then this is the actual MP Grimlock. And this Grimlock actually has the lift sign that come with the Fans Toys slag. And as you can see, he is still smaller <laughs> than these two. I don't have a problem with it personally. I would actually kind of imagine this guy be the biggest of them. He still does look out of place. He I looks say. terrible next to them. Really? He, yeah. He, just look. <laughs> I don't know, maybe How put, is he the leader? How is he King Grimlock? He's <laughs> He put a crown on him, he'll look yeah. better. And for final thoughts, I'll go ahead and start. Final with thoughts, this I'll guy. put him in an awesome pose that Wilson will take apart in three seconds. Yeah. I'm giving him a five out of five. He is he, even with the leg issue. What leg issue? The transformation of shoving his legs together. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah. He does have a couple tolerance issues. Luckily, they're nowhere near as bad as the snarl that I have. Like, his wrists are really no problems there. This is good. And he, I, actually, I took the head off and tightened it even more, but it was fine before. Uh, the main concern and problem I have with him is during transformation, you're supposed to pull his legs down. And I'll be damned if they aren't one of the hardest things I've had to do. The right one, especially, is scary. The amount of force you have to pull uh, with it. That aside, it still doesn't bother me that much. I, it's, it's, having transformed it and know how much force I have to put on it, I know now that it. I'm fairly comfortable that it will at least loosen up, and I know what that it probably won't break. But yeah, I, he's getting a 5 out of 5. He doesn't have as many tolerance issues. The stuff, he holds well. He looks awesome. He's gigantic. I love the accessories. I, I really dig the eyes. They look great on him. I can't wait to take a picture of him with Devastator. My set of Dinobots is finally complete. I'm going to give him a 3.5. Oh my god. This guy's a 4. Easy. At least, but fair enough. Going. I don't like his his chest is like just this section, the, the shape. The, you mean the 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 whole red section is like compared to the rest of him, and it, compared to Snarl, is boring. I'm more afraid of the f leg thing than Wilson is because yeah. I was here watching him go. And that was my second time doing it yeah. too. So. <clears throat> yeah, he just I don't know. He just he doesn't do it for me. I, hmm. I love that he's like. He's heavy and I love that he's big and bulky, but he just... You think it's just because it's sludge? I totally love my uh, fans project sludge. He's, okay. I guess he's too G1 for me. If this is the aesthetic you're going for, this is an amazing toy. Yeah. He's a totally five yeah. in that regard. But just for me, it just... I don't know, it's missing something. Okay, fair enough. I um, understand that. I think, I think Berg needs a nap and to wake up and with a fresh set of eyes so he isn't crazy but you know what opinions that's the one thing you're entitled to they're like souls everyone's got one right so let us know what you think do you agree with me do you agree with him do you hate us both did you sit through this whole review let us know uh, we did. <laughs> you can follow me on twitter at scabs you can follow mr rick at Raggy Foe Smasher. And at Shockinada and then the Facebook page. It's all going to be down here. There's links. There's everything in the show notes. Uh, until then, we love you. And goodbye.